Okay, welcome to another video. I am the Starman. This is just a quick follow-up video to my last uh, video where I shot the uh, moonrise coming up over the beach huts. Can't actually believe the amount of uh, success that that picture had. I had absolutely no idea uh, when I was taking the picture. If you saw the video, um, when I was walking out onto the beach, uh, I had absolutely no... I was not really sure if I was going to be able to see the moon despite it being fairly clear because when you're, when you're trying to shoot moonrises, even though it might look clear on the horizon, you, you just never know until you actually see it. But yeah, what an amazing sight as well. And you can tell if you watch the video, you can see my excitement as well. But the response to the picture was unbelievable. And it, uh, it went on to appear in two papers as well. It appeared in the, the, the Sun, and it also appeared in the, the, the Daily Telegraph on Saturday. Uh, which is some feat really. Uh, I'm not a member of the Press Association or anything, but uh, to get a picture like in a paper like that is uh, really, really good. Um, I sent my pictures to an agency. It's got a good chance of getting into the papers, so that was a real, real bonus. Yeah, welcome to my new subscribers. I know I've got some new subscribers and I hope you like the stuff that I'm gonna be doing. Um, so really all I'm going to do in this video is just follow up on the last one and just talk about what I used to take the picture because I was in a bit of a rush then, it was kind of on the fly and I also want to talk about the, um, the settings that I used uh, because I didn't, I said that I'd post them on the screen and I didn't do. So anyway, um, let's have a little look at the equipment that I used to take the moon rising over the beach huts. Okay, so this is what I used. Uh, this is the uh, a telescope that I used to take the shot. This is a, a TS Optics. It's a 420 millimeter quadruplet uh, refractor. Now this is basically just like a normal camera lens, um, 400 millimeter camera lens. Uh, the aperture is f6.5, it's fixed at f6.5. All you need to do to attach a telescope like this to your camera is you need to get um, a little T-ring that goes onto your, they're only about £10 or so, um, and that goes onto your camera and then that then allows the telescope to fit onto any sort of DSLR. So this is the camera I was using, that's a Nikon D850. It's a 46 megapixel camera this and i used that because i thought right i'm going to need to get all the detail i can get because i actually cropped into the picture i'm just going to show you on the screen now you can see that i did quite heavily crop into the picture to make to make it you know to zoom right into the uh, the beach huts because even using this telescope i was still you know i still had quite a quite a lot to uh, to to take off the picture around the sides so yeah, and I also, I also used a, a cable release. There's a thing that goes on the end of there that trips your shutter. So that's quite important as well. And on this particular camera, um, because it has a mirror that flips up every time you take a picture, you can select it so that the mirror stays up and that reduces any kind of shake that might happen when you take the picture. Um, but it also, I didn't use this on the night, but it does also have an electronic shutter. So that does away with the mirror altogether. So that's another way of doing it. Um, so yeah, so that is what I used to take the picture of the moonrise over the beach huts. And, and something else that I forgot to mention as well is the actual exposures that I used for the, the pictures. I'm just going to put something on the screen now which shows the exposures I was using. Now the thing is, when the moon is really low, uh, coming up over the horizon, you're looking at it through a very thick atmosphere, much thicker than if you were looking at it, say, when the moon is high up in the sky. And it kind of, um, it takes a lot of the light off the moon, so the moon can look quite dull, a very dull yellow, as it did on the night when I captured it over the beach. So it's kind of like a typical moonrise. It's a bit like when you see the sun go down, it kind of goes very kind of red and very deep red, the sky goes red and it, uh, it's the same thing. It's, it's all down to the thickness of the atmosphere. When you're looking on the horizon, you're looking through a lot more atmosphere um, and that's what causes that effect. But it also helps as well because um, it, it takes quite a lot of the brightness off the moon. So that means that you can use a slow exposure 
and that means using a slow exposure means that you can you can capture the foreground as well when the moon's high up in the sky you're probably looking at an exposure of about maybe one 250th of a second and you can capture it handheld with the telephoto lens but when it was on the horizon there you can see the kind of slow exposures i was using but it helped as well because it enabled me to capture the the detail in the beach huts if the moon was a lot brighter um, the beach would the beach huts would have just been silhouettes so i didn't really want that so anyway i hope that this uh, just clears up that little bit that i had missing from the last video a um, little bit smoother as well this one as well i'm using one of those little pocket um, osmos for this uh, nice little uh, little uh, camera a bit, bit uh, smoother than the last video it was a bit bit shaky but uh, i think in a way with it being quite shaky it kind of added to the uh, the drama really um, so anyway um watch out for another video um the next video might be to do with trackers i might do something with my tracker set my tracker up uh, maybe put the telescope on it and and show how all that works so i look forward to doing that and i'll see you again next time thanks for watching